If humans are to live on the moon or even Mars one day, there is still a lot of work to be done. With this in mind, ESA is planning a new mission, landing an unmanned spacecraft near the moon's south pole, a region full of dangerous boulders and high ridges, but a possible location for future human explorers because of almost continuous sunlight and potential access to water ice. The next step is the moon. The moon being uh, reachable in two, three days from the Earth, allowing us to put together a lot of technologies and a lot of experiments preparing for the human exploration of the moon and therefore as a step for the human exploration of Mars. A study contract was recently awarded to the European industry to further develop this mission, which is part of an international framework. The lunar lander is a small but uh, very challenging mission. Uh, the most important part of it is, of course, landing on the south pole of the moon. And in fact, this is the mission which uh, will bring about the new generation of navigation and guidance sensor algorithm and software. To reach the surface safely, the lander must precisely navigate its way to a mountain peak or crater rim, carefully avoiding boulders and steep slopes before gently setting down and starting to collect much needed data. The payload in the moment is uh, composed of a traditional science uh, instrument for uh, planetology. Uh, there are instruments which are more oriented toward the human presence, radiation effect, dust. Clearly, what we can do on the Moon is to learn how to manage a complex system on the surface of another planet. Uh, and uh, on top, in order to go to Mars and to live there, we need to develop a certain number of other technologies on which we are working right now. There are many issues that must be investigated for the long-term exploration of the solar system. In this, the lunar lander plays a small but crucial part before we can make another giant leap for mankind. In 2012, a technical review of this phase of the mission will provide the basis for the final design of the mission and the lander. The goal then is to launch the lander in 2018.